No way! No way! Oh my god! Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Maj and Nick here. And for today's topic, I'm gonna be discussing what the best enchant loadout is for farming items and for farming diamonds. I'm gonna be showing a free to play setup and a pay to win setup as well. So this is going to apply to everybody. And I'm gonna try to take into consideration all the factors that go into farming. I might forget a few little details, but I'm gonna try to cover all of it the best that I can. But before we get into this, I actually want to announce the winners for the giveaway. For my last video, I was giving away two happy rocks so the first winner goes to this person here think twins and they put let's appreciate how much time and effort Majin Nick puts into his videos so thank you very much i appreciate your nice comment and you have won the happy rock that has diamonds tnt lightning and overload so it's a pretty good happy rock it's not max level yet but as you use it more and more it's going to get much stronger and you're going to be able to put i think one more charm slot on there so that's pretty cool i'm going to send that to your way now there we go. And the second person who won this giveaway is right here. It's Alex2450 and they commented great video. And also if I get picked, this will be my first huge. So here's my user. So thank you for the nice comment and I'm glad I was able to help you get your first huge. And I'm gonna be sending you this happy rock with TNT and XP on it. So the charms are not as good as the other one, but it's still a pretty good pet. And the XP is gonna help you get it to max level a lot faster. So then you'll be able to put more charms on it. Now I'm gonna send that to your way. And there we go. So congratulations to those of you that won. I'm going to have another giveaway soon. I just don't know exactly when, but I do smaller giveaways on my shorts where I open up an exclusive egg and whatever I hatch, I give to you guys. So you guys could always enter in those and have a chance to win either an exclusive pet, or if I get lucky enough to hatch a huge, then you'll have a chance to win a huge. But enough on this topic, let's get into the actual video. So if you guys have watched my older videos on my enchant loadouts, you're going to know that I usually divide this up into two sections, and that's exactly what I'm going to do for this video. So the first section I'm going to go over is going to be for free to play players, and I'm going to be covering what enchants you should use, what your team setup might look like, and how much you can expect to gain. And in the second part of this video, I'm going to go over the pay to win section, and I'm going to show what the enchant loadout will look like for that, what your team setup will look like, and what you should expect to gain from being pay to win. I'm going to put this as a disclaimer now earlier in the video if you are free to play you are not going to gain nearly nearly as much as a pay to win player i'm sorry it's just the sad truth pay to win players have it a lot easier for multiple reasons but this is not to say that you can't be successful as a free to play player you definitely can it's just going to take you a lot longer and getting certain items and enchants or pets is just going to be a lot harder for you but it is possible so don't be discouraged all right so getting into the free to play section if you're free to play you're not going to have these three premium enchant slots down here so i'm going to be completely ignoring those and for the enchants i'm going to start with a diamond loadout so just farming pure diamonds and it's going to look something like this this is what I would run on a free to play account. As you can see, I have three criticals, two diamonds, and one magnet book. This is very free to play friendly. Now, if you have some other enchants, like let's say you have a massive comet, have a chest mimic, which most of you probably won't, you can just try to swap out maybe one of these criticals, which I don't really recommend, but I'll get more into that in a second. But you can make substitutions based on what you have. And also, a lot of you are probably not going to be ranked 20. So if you're not ranked 20, it's going to look something like this. But it's really important that you guys try to do your rank ups. I know they're hard. I know they take a long time, but it's really worth it because having that extra enchant slot is going to help you tremendously. You may not realize it, but it'll really make a big difference in your farming results. So instead of farming pure diamonds, if you want more items, then this is a loadout you're going to use. Again, if you are ranked 20, then you can go ahead and put another criticals in the middle, but it's pretty much going to be the same thing as the diamond setup. Just replace the diamond enchants with the treasure hunter enchants. But if you have have something like massive comet or lucky block or one of these chest mimics you can go ahead and throw those in there too but most of you are probably not going to have these at best a lot of you might have a lucky block enchant so you can go ahead and use that if you do but if not then you could just work with a setup like this so now that we have the enchants covered let's go over what your team setup might look like now if you're free to play 
It's not gonna really look like this unless you're very advanced. So for most of you, it might look something like this. You might have a few huges, especially happy computers because they're the easiest to get. You might have some exclusives and most of your pets are probably gonna be stat pets. This is just a general assumption. Obviously, this is gonna be different for everybody and how far into the game you are. But for a new-ish player, maybe they've been playing for a month or a few months and they don't really invest a lot of time or any money into the game, this is probably what you're gonna be looking at. At least that's what I've noticed. You may have more pet equips. Like right now, I just threw on 39 as an example, but you may have 40, 50, 60 even if you're a high enough rank, but you're eventually going to want to change your setup over time. You want to be able to get rid of all of these stat pets because stat pets are usually not that good. And that's only if you have a lot of huges or a lot of the 95% exclusive pets. Well, let's say all of your exclusive pets are like 85%, but let's say your strongest stat pet is say this one, the Dominus <laughs> alienus and it's 105 billion damage and you have a bunch of these you're gonna want to run a bunch of these over an 85 percent exclusive because why would you want a pet that's only 85 percent as strong as your best stat pet when you could just have the rest of your team filled with all these 105 billion stat pets so they're going to be stronger than your exclusive but that's only if you have a lot of your highest stat pet if you don't like let's say you only have two like i have here then it's going to be beneficial to run any exclusive pet because again it'll match 85 percent of the strong strength of this. But basically what I'm trying to get at is you want to focus on getting more huges and getting more of the stronger exclusives like the 95% or even rainbow or shiny exclusives. Those are going to do a lot more damage. But enough yapping about the team setup. I think you guys get the point. You just want to be able to improve your team setup over time. As far as potions and items go, this is going to be the same whether you're free to play or pay to win. So you're going to want to run sprinklers and you're going to want to run strength flags or shiny flag or rainbow flag. I think these are pretty interchangeable, but I know the shiny flags and the rainbow flags are a lot harder to get than strength flags. So I recommend to run these, but if you don't have them, the strength flags are going to be a good substitute. And the reason why I'm saying to use these three flags, because if you're free to play and you don't have a good team setup, like the one I'm showing you here, then you're not going to be doing all that much damage and it's going to be a lot harder to break the final area. So you're going to want to run something that boosts your damage a lot more. And that's also why I threw in the criticals for the enchant loadout, because you're going to need that extra damage. And then you're also going to want to run all of your toys, all of your fruits. And for potions, you're going to want to run cocktails if you can. If you can't, that's perfectly fine. They're not necessary, but they do help. Run your highest damage potion, your highest treasure hunter potion, your highest diamond potion, and then the speed three potion, which this is the highest one. And these are super easy to get. Like you could see, I have 17 and a half thousand of them. And I'm going to move my webcam real quick so you guys could see. Right here, I have 167 damage worth of speed potions. That is so many. And that's not even like a fraction of how many speed potions I have saved up. So those are never an issue to get. And one smaller detail that's actually going to make a pretty big difference is the charms on your huge pets. If you do have huge pets, you're going to want to run TNT charms. TNT is actually so good. It'll help you break the final area way faster because it's pretty much spawning in one of these mini TNTs here at a pretty frequent rate. They spawn kind of fast and it's just going to explode all the breakable around your pet and help to break things down a lot faster. So now I'm going to go over to the last area and show you what farming would look like with a setup like this. I have the fortune flags on just because I was farming before with my normal setup. And while they're not breaking everything super fast, this is honestly not that bad. For an average free to play setup, breaking stuff at this speed is kind of decent. And again, this is without any strength, shiny or rainbow flags placed down. So it would be even faster with that. And this is pretty much with like a bare minimum setup. If I was, say, rank 20, then boom, I could throw on a nether criticals enchant, and then now my pets are breaking stuff faster. And let's say I was a higher rank, and I had 51 pet equips or even higher. Look how much faster things are being broken. So you can see it doesn't take a crazy setup to be able to be successful as a free-to-play player. Again, it is going to be harder than a paid-to-win player, but you just got to work with what you have. And as far as ultimates go, pretty much try to get whatever ultimate you can get your hands on. Most of you, it's probably going to be pet surge, but I don't really recommend it. I would would rather go for something like tornado tnt is okay but preferably something like tsunami tsunami is a little bit expensive but i've been experimenting with it and it's honestly a really good ultimate like i'll show you what it looks like here it looks really cool too i like the purple color but you can see it breaks stuff really easily so this is going to help you to break the last area a lot faster and if you're auto farming you can just macro this to where you keep using ultimates every time they're charged up but that's pretty much going to cover everything for the free-to-play section now 
now for the pay to win section this is going to be a lot more interesting and you're going to see a lot more results with this now getting into the pay to win enchant loadout for a diamond setup it's going to look something like this so this right here seems to be a very good pure diamond setup and you're going to notice i have massive comet in here and the reason for that is massive comet one it's not that expensive so a lot of you can probably get it and two it actually drops diamonds when you break it now i don't know if it's still the same as diamond chest mimic but a while back when diamond chest mimic got nerfed it actually gave less diamonds than the massive comet enchant again i don't know if this has changed but i don't really see a point in using diamond chest mimic i don't really notice a big increase in the amount of diamonds that i farm up when i'm using this so i would just say go ahead and ignore the diamond chest mimic as it is expensive too it's not even like it's easy to get but try to use something like massive comet if you don't have it that's fine you could just remove that and use a second fortune and you're gonna notice i have three criticals in here and you're probably wondering okay well if i'm pay to win and i'm a lot stronger than a free to play player why am i also using three critical enchants if i can break stuff really fast well actually it was pointed out to me by a viewer of this channel victoria if you're watching shout out to you but this person had brought up the point during one of my afk live streams that when you use around three criticals you actually make way more diamonds and i found that to be interesting so i tested that in one of my videos and yeah it's actually true so i have now incorporated a few criticals into almost all my enchant loadouts because i did notice it makes farming the last area a lot more effective but i have three criticals three diamond enchants two fortune enchants or if you have the massive comet just take out one fortune and use that and one super magnet if you don't have super magnet you can go ahead and just use just a normal magnet enchant that works as well and if you don't have all the enchant loadouts down here you can just go ahead and adjust the setup according to how many slots you have let's say you only have two of the premium slots down here and you're not ranked 20 then your loadout might look something like this but again it just depends on what you have and you're just going to have to assess what will be appropriate for what you have available because i can't tell you exactly all the people watching this video i don't know your guys loadout so i can't give a definite answer onto what will work for everybody because everyone's at a different point in the game and it's literally impossible for me to know but that pretty much does it for a diamond setup so now getting into an item loadout this is what an ideal setup would look like for farming items you can see i have two treasure hunter enchants three critical enchants one boss chest mimic one chest mimic one super magnet and one massive comet this is a very expensive setup and considering that chest mimic is literally over 1 billion diamonds now i would think it's safe to assume that 99 percent of you guys watching this probably don't have the chest mimic enchant and if you don't have boss chest mimic either or super magnet and you don't have rank 20 or the last premium enchant slot this is what you're going to be looking at right here is a lot more friendly of a setup this is so much cheaper than the last one i just showed you but it's not going to be nearly as good it'll still work well it'll still give you a fair amount of items just not nearly as much for your team setup you're probably not going to have something like this you might however have a team setup that looks something like this you'll probably have a decent amount of huges not a crazy amount you'll probably have a good amount of exclusive pets but then you're also most likely going to have a lot of stat pets as well and again this is just a generalized assumption of what the average pay to win player would have it just depends on how much time you invest how much money you invest and how far you've gotten into the game for the items you're going to want to use sprinklers as well but since you do more damage you can opt in for something like a fortune flag or if you're not confident in how much damage you do then you could use something like a rainbow flag shiny flag or strength flag like how i mentioned earlier you're going to want to use all of your toys and fruits as well and then cocktail potions if you do have them again it's the same thing as free to play players if you don't have it it's okay but if you do then awesome and then your highest damage potion highest treasure hunter highest diamond and then your speed three potion so you could see besides the enchant loadout and besides your team setup everything else is pretty much the same but you could see if we go into the last area i am breaking things considerably faster than the free to play players and if i go ahead and equip to my main setup with all huges you're gonna see i'm breaking things pretty fast and then if i go ahead and throw on my main enchant loadout like the one i showed you guys before then you're gonna see already i'm getting tons of items so now getting into what you should expect to gain if you're say farming overnight for like eight hours for free to play players who don't have that good of a setup you should expect to gain literally a quarter of what a pay to win player might get that sounds really sad and honestly it is really sad but that's just the way the the crookie cut the crookie
the cookie crumbles. I think that's a saying, but it's just the way it is. I feel bad for those of you who are free to play or just don't have a good setup because it's going to be a lot harder for you guys, but that's just a part of the process. We all got to start somewhere. And even me who has a crazy good setup now, I once was a little noob, a little free to play player that really didn't have much of anything, but you can start from nothing like how I did at the end of December when I started playing Pet Simulator and you can get to something like this. But let me stop rambling. I tend to go off topic. For pay to win players, you can expect to gain three to four times what a free to play player might gain. And I say might or may those key words because it all is very dependent on how many huges you have, what charms you have on those huges, how many enchant slots you have, your rank. All these factors play a big role in determining the effectiveness of your setup. I can't really give you guys an exact number of items or amount of diamonds that you'll gain overnight. I can give you based off of my experience with my setup, but that doesn't apply to most of you guys guys. And I used to say in the past for my older tutorials when I was newer to YouTube, oh, you can expect to gain 35 million, 40 million overnight or whatever I said back then. And while that was true for me, and you can expect to gain that if you have my exact setup, it's not going to be true for most of you guys. So that's why I'm not going to be giving out these numbers anymore because I don't want to spread false information or give you guys potential false hope because I can't say for certainty what you're going to make from the setups that I showed in this video. And a lot of YouTubers do this. A lot of YouTubers will be like, oh, the best loadout to make the most money or the most OP method to get 1 billion diamonds or something ridiculous, right? But unless it's a method that will stay true to everybody, like let's say planting diamond seeds, that's always going to be the same for everybody. You're either going to gain 30,000 diamonds or 45,000 diamonds per seed. So with that, you can say a certain number, but with something like farming the last area, you can't give people an exact number. You can give an estimation on what you get or maybe what you're alt account gets that's a free to play account but there's always going to be some variable that'll change or skew the results so going forward i'm not going to give you guys an exact number on what you can expect to gain i might share what i get personally but i won't tell you guys what you will get because i don't know what you will get but that pretty much wraps up this video if i missed anything please let me know in the comments because i'm not perfect i probably forgot to talk about something but feel free to call me out on it i don't mind at all but if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it in any way Way, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.